So as a captain, how do you sum up a performance like that from the side? Gutsy. Um, I think it's one of those where, particularly after the Ealing game and the highs of that, to try and replicate it. Obviously, we knew what's on the line, and we still do. Um, you know, the show's not over just yet. Um, but we know that we have to get over this hurdle first, and they're a hell of a hurdle, they're a hell of a team. Um, we've got a lot of respect for them. They're a team that just doesn't back down, as we saw in the last, last sort of 10, well, second half, really. Um, really applying the pressure, and I think, yeah, we just about held out, um, which I think it just shows how gutsy this team is. Do you think it's a marker of your unity as well that you can see out games like that that do get tough, especially in the second yeah, half? Yeah, definitely. It's something we actually touched on before the game. Um, as a group, we pride ourselves on always showing up and always just caring. Um, I've never been in a group like this where everyone genuinely cares about each other. Obviously, some more than each other, but um, you know, it's it, when you care and you're in a really good position, it takes care of everything. So how do you push on now? For the, you've got a couple of bye weeks and then there's one last league game. What's yeah, it's a shame it's so stop-start, really. Um, we really want to sort of ride this wave now. Um, obviously, it's nice to have a bit of a break, but equally, we want to keep the momentum going. Um, I think we've still got lots to work on, as we've seen. Um, it took some huge strides forward and we've just got to carry that through into the next game. And, and Nottingham are a hell of a team. You know, they're, they are down at the bottom end of the table, but they're such a strong team. Their first phase is very dangerous. And, and as we saw today, we got cut, cut open on a first phase play as well. So, you know, lots to, uh, lots to take in in the next couple of weeks so that we're ready to go.